This is a funny morning right now. Uh, as some of you might be able to know, for you film enthusiasts, this camera probably looks different. That's because I'm repping Justy's cam today and the collab of the century is going down. First of all, if you don't subscribe to Justy, make sure you subscribe to Justy. He's one of my good freaking friends. He's been with me since the start of this YouTube thing. He got me into this YouTube thing. If you guys don't subscribe to Justy, you're absolutely blowing it. Today, Justy's taking me on a classic out there TV adventure. We're getting in that jet ski and we're going driving on uh, on a coast that I'm not gonna mention and we're gonna go find some waves and go absolutely score. Let's get it. totally bogging right now it's like 8 30 or something normally when you do these type of missions I feel like you're on the water as the sun rises but that's yeah. all right man we're bogging so hard I forgot to tighten the strap see it's just you know you spend the night partying on the town how do you function the next day or wake up early I don't know that's why I don't party very much because I hate how it ruins your next day I actually hate that we tried to wake up early and just Ugh, there's no way it was gonna happen. Justy's alarm, he tried to set one, I think, for like six or something. Yeah. I heard it, and I, it was torturous. It was like Satan's <laughs> scream. And I was like, there's no way I'm getting up, dude. There's no way. <laughs> big out there bro I have never seen this it's what like 20 feet out there dude straight up bombing all oh I see is whitewash God. and just sprays and spits dude. it's like sand over the road in places because low tide last night and the waves are just washing sand up over the road we just went over a bunch of gravel what snacks should I go get dude it's some garlic chicken yeah, thank you that's all I don't know, just whatever. Some granola bars. I got it. The goods. Getting the ski rigged up, man. And then we're just gonna rip out the back and see what we can find. Check this out. Boom! How's that for a freaking quick change? All right, jet ski's ready. We're putting it in the water right now. We're gonna switch to the GoPro and the adventure is just getting started. Let's do it. Bumpy and, and especially big wave surfing when you go poof, 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 ankle is like popping. So uh, we're gonna try and find something cleaner and uh, we'll just explore a little bit, but good start. We're also dealing with, look at all this stuff. Dude, trash line is out of control over here. We're like sucking it up, it's gnarly. Ah, 
that's a lot. I'm gassed. I'm like straight. Back in the house. Thank you, Justin. That's all I gotta say is thank you, Justin. You guys, seriously, if you don't subscribe to Justy, he's my homeboy, one of my best friends, and uh, my God, what a guy. Towing me in all day long. I never even got on the jet ski to tow him, partially because we were terrified that I would ruin his really expensive jet ski, and I probably would have. I think my whippings <laughs> are gonna be just fried. I'm scared. Save the ski. Don't triple save tomahawk me. the ski. Oh, God. But also because Justin just loves driving that thing and giving his buddy a ride all day long. So that was so sick. Thank you, Justy. Subscribe. Can't say it enough. You guys, he's almost a 10K. Let's get him there. Toe and surfing is such an unbelievable experience. Every time I do it, and I've only done it twice, it's like this constant feeling of anxiety for me. I think because you're out there in these waves that are massive and you have this vehicle like the jet ski and it could get flipped and chaos could happen at any moment. And it's just this constant feeling of uneasiness for me because you're getting towed into these waves that are huge and it's really easy to do. You're already standing up. You've done the hard part of surfing. The hard part of surfing is to get to your feet and pop up, but with towing, it takes that away. So you tow into a wave, you're already on your feet. And so it's really easy, you can get as nuts as you want with it, depending on how much in the pocket you want to be or how far away you want to outrun the peak. Um, but the problem is, if something goes wrong, it goes horribly wrong. Not like you're necessarily gonna die or anything, but like you take a wipeout on one of those waves, it's gonna be a freaking wipeout. I really wish I could have surfed a little better. My ankle was really bothering me, and again, you know, no, no excuses, but uh, it, it hurt. It, with the chatter on the water, it was just like, coo, coo, coo. And I was actually watching back a couple of those clips, and I think it'd be interesting to throw up right now. Look at on the first clip here where I try and go for barrel. Uh, you can see the board just kind of chattering as the side chops coming at me. And I go to grab rail, but I'm going so fast that I'm like, how the hell do I grab rail? So I bail from pit, the pig dog and grab rail, and I try to stand up again, and then in that motion, I fall right as the barrel's coming over me. I'll tell you what, as I was falling, the vision was mental, but I'm super bummed I didn't lock in my rail and just hold the line and get super barrel. I really wish the GoPro didn't make the waves look as small as they do. I promise, they were pretty big. The biggest wave I got was the first wave of the day. It was like probably a 12 to 16 foot face. The biggest wave I've had in a long time. The only wave I've had bigger was when I towed into Phantoms with Jamie. That was horrifying. Happy it wasn't that big. Anywho, nothing but good things to say about that towing time. It's always good to, uh, you know, change up the sports a little bit. Even though it's still surfing, it's completely different from real paddle and surfing. Towing and surfing is such a different vibe in so many different ways. That being said, back of the house now. I've gotten hit with some sort of little sickness and it's, it's not the vid. I tested for the vid, it's not the vid. I don't know, runny nose, kind of tired, and um, yeah, just just kind of sucks. But figured this was a purpose. Off, figured this was a perfect opportunity. As you can see, this box in the right-hand corner. You know what time it is. Oh my God! I love that little magic trick. It's time for unboxing boxes with Jackson. Lepsack. Yay! Today's weapon of choice: Mia's phone cube that she left in my house. These two prongs are gonna do some serious damage, and I can't wait to test this weapon out. Whoa! Oh my gosh! Prada Ocean Luna Rosa. You guys ready for this mighty reveal? Whoa my god, it's freaking glowing! Prada, new cologne. I got an email from them. They wanted to send me their cologne. I said, sure, go ahead and send it to me. By the way, for everyone interested in how this unboxing boxes with Jackson Lebsack thing works, Generally, people just email me and want to send me stuff, and I'm totally stoked on that. I'm not getting paid most of the time. Most of the time, they just send me boxes for me to open on here. It's kind of a win-win. It's free advertising for the company, and then I have something to create content about. In this case, Prada wanted to send me some cologne, so I was like, sure, go ahead and send it. <sighs> like a man. Jumping to the next topic, one that is sponsored by myself. With Intent Merchandise. Folks, you guys killed it on the Black Friday sale. Thank you so much for your support. That sale's over, but the store's still up. 
If those of you that don't know, I run my merchandise until it sells out, and uh, we've got a limited amount left in the launch collection before the new collection comes out. I'm selling out on everything, and then I'm gonna launch my new collection. If you haven't picked up a piece of merch, there's a link in the description below for you guys to help me out, support me. It means a lot, and more than anything, I'm just trying to build this brand, preach the mantra to the world, and uh, scale this thing up with the support of my fellow community. Thank you guys, I love you guys. This is the maroon, is it the burgundy or the... As I mentioned, I have been hit with some sort of little bug. Feeling a little down, feeling a little tired. I'm gonna actually pass out here, go to bed, wake up, and tomorrow the waves are supposed to drop tremendously. That big swell just moved all the sand to the sandbar, so the sandbar should be super fun. Hoping to score a fun surf if I'm not feeling too sick. And uh, yeah, should be a great day. So we're gonna pass out, lights out, and I will see you in the freaking morning. Does anyone even know how to use one of those things? Wax comb? I don't know, I don't really use them. Walking down to the limo right now, look at it shining in all her glory. Woo! Crispy white and clean. We're, uh, we're on the hunt right now for waves. Look at this, I got myself an ankle brace. Gonna surf in an ankle brace. Hold that thing a little more in place. Hopefully it helps me out a bit. Me, Forrest, and Caden are on a mission right now. Everyone else is out of the house, on errands, on vacation, whatever it is, I don't know. So it's just me, Forrest, and Caden loading up in the limo right now, and we're gonna go get the celebrity drop off at Aikai Beach Park, because I think the sandbar is firing. We've had some massive flash flood warnings the last couple days. And uh, that means the water's chocolatey brown, which is never great, but that also means the crowds stay away and the waves are probably glassy. So we're gonna go see if we can get some action. Forrest, how you feeling? Real good. Forrest's dad's a teacher. Apparently his dad shows uh, these vlogs to the class. So let's, uh, let's have Forrest say exactly what he wants to to his dad and his classroom. Ready? Three, two, one. Hey dad, um, hope your class is doing good and you're building lots of skateboards and stuff. And yeah, hey class. KJ, your hair's in your eyes, dude. Hey, man. How you feeling? To be honest, not that good. Me neither. It's like good. It's me, me and KJ, me and KJ got a little sickness or something. <laughs> We're gonna go do the stupidest thing we could, which is go try and surf in cold brown water. I'm gonna take the executive seat today, co-pilot with Caden all the way to the beach park. Look at our yard. Oh my gosh, it's a river. All right, give her help, KJ. Oh! Straight lake back there. Oh, it's pretty brown. Oh! Pop her in the park and get out the vehicle. We're at Pipeline's gate. Look at how we have to park the limo. We don't dare go into any parking lots because that's asking for trouble. We park on the side of the highway and take up about three spots every time. I'm gonna change into my wetsuit top, get my board, let's go check out the beach. Ah, there we go, in the suit. Check it out, brown. Brown door is back, brown door and sewer pipe. Super brown. Actually, that's brown door and sewer pipe. I'm gonna go surf where no crowd is up at Gums. It looks just as good, but no people. I'll take that any day. Let's get it. shark in the waters. That was gnarly. Look at them. What 
up, guys? In the car with Miss Mia right now. Uh, heading to Haleiwa. We're just finishing up a surf session. That was super, super fun. We scored some really good waves. That was my first time surfing my twin fin in a really long time, and it felt really good. I think the shorter length helped me on my turns. Lately, I feel like I've been blowing it on my turns, partially because my ankle hurts and I'm scared to put a lot of pressure on it, but also because that longer rail on a longer board is not helping me with my turns. When you have a longer rail, you gotta draw out your turns more, and I've been trying to do quick, snappy ones in the pocket, and the 5.11 felt like it was helping me. Out. Yeah, like I said, we're heading to town right now. I'm going to first we're gonna stop at the coffee bean because there's apparently Wednesday deals for me and for me about three dollar coffees. Three dollar blended coffees. The only problem is you can only get the iced and blended ones, which is not epic because it's been cold and rainy in Hawaii for the last week. So I'm kind of craving a hot drink, but when it deals on like that, you might just have to go for it. <laughs> That's the worst thing I've ever had. You pay good money for that. I think there's a reason it's three dollar Wednesdays. <laughs> boo boo, what's the good news? What is it? Garlic fries. Garlic fries? No, the good news is it's a blowout sale on now and we've made it to the surf shop. What's the bad news? No garlic fries. Well, that's bad news too, but the other bad news is I feel awful after that smoothie. I know, I do too. Every time I drink one of those, I regret it instantly. Into the surf store. Go get some gear. There's some board options. There's some board options. I don't really think I'm in the market for a new board. One, because I don't, uh, I'm pretty happy with my quiver, but two, I don't really want to buy. I don't really want to buy name brand boards anymore when my freaking good friend Junie Surfboards hooks me up with sick boards. And after riding his board for so long, it's honestly one of the better boards I've ever ridden. I don't think we're going for boards here. Let's go look at the fins. Wow. Those look sick. I'm actually gonna try getting speed generating fins because my other fins I have, the AM2s, they're what Jamie recommended to me actually. They're speed control fins. I don't know really how much the difference is between speed generating and speed control fins, to be completely honest with you, but all I've tried is speed control, so I might as well try speed generating. I will say though, one time I swapped my fins in my board right after a session and then went out right away again, and I could not believe the difference in the way my board performed. It showed me that fins actually <coughs> really do matter a lot. So uh, I'm gonna try these speed generating ones out. Thanks, Grandma. Waxing's back. That'll be it, thank you, I don't need it, thank you. Boom, boom, bang, bang, got one bar, two bars of wax, and the all new Black Sticks Futures speed generating fins. What do you rate those fins? Just by the looks. I don't know how good they'll look with my board, actually, now that I think about it, but it's all right. Stoked to get some new fins. Can uh, head back to the house, figure out what's next for today. Yeah, you. I completely lied, I have nothing else planned for the day, but I did find this interesting. Here's two fins, speed control, speed generating, we're gonna take a look at them. First of all, I have never been an athlete that uh, blames my gear on my performance. I've always been the athlete that blames myself before my gear. Is that a good theory? I don't know, but my theory for it is that if someone like Jamie O'Brien was to get on any surfboard or any watercraft, he could fucking rip. So my point is, if you become good enough as an athlete, you can rip no matter the gear. That's my theory. Don't get mad, just get better. So I don't really think I'm personally gonna be able to notice a difference because I just am so bad at noticing differences in gear, but I figured I'd take a look at these two fins that I have and see if we can see any differences and maybe get some comments from you fellow surfers out there that uh, might know the difference because to a kook's eye, I can't see much, but here's what I do see. On these speed generating black sticks, I see a cup inside the fin. You can see it hooked. It has like a, a little On the AM2 stiff fins, they don't have a cup. They're flat, straight across the board. My theory for what that purpose is, is maybe it hooks the water on a bottom turn and propels it and generates speed in some way or another. I could be completely wrong on that, but that's the theory. My theory. The other thing I found interesting between a speed generating and speed control fin is that these speed control fins are way stiffer. I cannot bend this in any way, shape, or form. And the purpose for that is because they're made for barrel riding and steep pocket waves and just controlling your speed, slowing down or speeding up. They're predictable. That's what they're meant to be. 
These fins, on the other hand, are springy. They're fluid. I don't know what the purpose of a bendy fin is or what that would do for your surfing, but it's interesting to see that these ones have some no play and these ones have a little bit of play. Perhaps I'll have a comprehensive review when I get time to ride both of these fins and uh, then I can tell you how much I actually noticed. Yeah, figured it was interesting. Two different fins to a kook's eye. Don't really know what I'm looking at, but those were the, the quick observations I had. I do want to test them. I do want to see what I find. I want to let you know what I find. Drop a comment below if you know what I'll find. As always, you bloody legends, thank you so much for watching the videos. Thank you so much for your continued support. If you're new here, subscribe to the channel. Like if you liked the video. By the way, I recently saw a statistic. My viewers are like 40% not, or I think 60% not subscribed. Come on, it's free. Click the button, it helps me out tremendously. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you guys, and I will see you next Friday.